Hello Iman, hello Nicola. Hi. So what we can expect uh, this year uh, at MIPIM? So actually, if I start with a quick look back, we all know that MIPIM 23 was a very strong edition. It was the first extremely strong post-COVID MIPIM edition. So we had the satisfaction to see uh, more than 22,500 people back from 90 plus different countries and from literally all asset classes, which is uh, what we are definitely looking forward to achieve. And we know that uh, 24 is getting in the right direction, which is uh, a satisfaction, especially because we know that the context is uh, still very challenging from the real estate industry. But MIPIM is definitely a place where people want to meet each other, those they already know, those they don't know because they actually are absolutely convinced that this is the right thing to do. You need to meet the, the right people, you need to network there, and actually all participants know that this is still a place to be post-COVID and it's the place to be in a challenging environment. And we have a specific focus on some asset classes this year. Obviously, uh, the residential asset class is, uh, is uh, highly expected because we know that there are plenty of conversation about that currently. But another one is the hospitality uh, asset class. Uh, we are more and more ambitious at MIPIM about that. So we have decided to amplify the program that uh, we used to run last year. And I will let you, Iman, uh, uh, explain a bit what is to expect from uh, the hospitality focus at MIPIM. Certainly, after the success we had in MIPIM 2023, we've uh, co-organized together the steering committee, which uh, counted uh, the MIPIM exhibitors and sponsors together, discussing and co-constructing the MIPIM program for themselves. As we met twice last year, once after MIPIM, him and once at the end of the year to discuss the results and based on what they suggested. So we will be having a, a full program focused on the, um, on the trends of the industry regarding financing strategies, which was a challenge last year. Uh, the focus on mixed use and the key role of hospitality and especially repurpose in the real estate world, which is now a key trend. Is there any growing interest in the hospitality uh, theme at MIPIM? Absolutely, absolutely. We're increasing our exhibitors and sponsors by um, six, seven new sponsors and exhibitors coming to the to the zone and also contributing to the program of MIPIM. At MKG Consulting, we are very excited this year to be a knowledge partner of MIPIM. We do believe it's very important to give more education and understanding about how we can interact and develop uh, hospitality uh, asset classes. That's why we have organized uh, four workshops with a different uh, theme that we will be uh, uh, showcase and disclose all the findings uh, during the hospitality day uh, at MIPIM. And definitely in a world where we have to uh, produce cash flow on asset, clearly the know-how of the operators uh, will be a strong asset uh, in every way they, they, they want to create value on, on the asset. So we are all waiting for everyone uh, to be in Cannes. Do you know already what will be the weather forecast? It will be probably very good like always. But even if it's not so good, there's always plenty of things to do. It's indoor and outdoor like uh, everybody knows. So maybe Iman, you can uh, give the specific save the dates for the hospitality fans, let's say, what is the right place, the right moment during the MIPIM week? Well, the hospitality zone itself will be open throughout the MIPIM, but the hospitality day, which is uh, the Thursday of MIPIM on, on March 14th, will be starting with the lunch at the Majestic Hotel, following uh, right after back in the Palais, at Palais 3, the um, hospitality workshop, which will be held at 2 p.m. and continue until on 5 p.m. we will be discussing key topics of the industry. So that's an event not to miss out. Lovely. So see you there. Yeah. See you at MIPIM. See you at MIPIM. See you at MIPIM.